In this quick and easy Final Cut tutorial, you'll see how blade speed is the quickest and the easiest way to retime just parts of a clip. This hidden feature will allow you to put slow mo or speed up section in the middle of a clip. I'm Bruce McBride and I can provide one on one personal tuition over the internet. Just click trainingfinalcutpro.com in the description below. Blade Speed puts timing edit points into a clip without actually cutting the clip and so simplifies the clip speed changes. Let's look at this clip in the timeline. I'd like to slow mo the point where the yacht crosses the finish line. The result will be the yacht will approach the line at normal speed, smoothly slow down as it crosses the finish line, and then slowly speed up to normal speed. So you can see what I'm doing. I'll put some markers at the beginning of the slow-mo and also at the end. This is not necessary, but it gives you a good visual point to watch. In practice, you'd most likely not use markers. Next is to blade speed these two markers. Select blade speed from the retime menu or shift plus B. Go to the end marker and you'll see a black vertical line in the green line above the clip. When you click on it, the cursor changes to a retiming icon. And the black vertical is inside a white rectangle. If you drag that to the right, you will slow the portion of the clip prior to the black line. It'll turn orange. If you drag it to the left, you'll speed up the prior portion of the clip and it'll turn blue. The change only happens to the position of the left hand blade speed insertion. If you'd not put in that left blade speed, the whole left portion of the clip would be altered. By default, when you adjust a bladed point, it is always the left hand portion that's changed. Now that you've changed the speed, you'll see grey lines between the slow-mo portion of the clip and the green normal speed section. These are speed transitions that smooth or blend the change in the speed. You can adjust these by dragging either side to lengthen or shorten the change for a soft or a hard cut. Let's play the clip to see what we've done. And finally, you can remove any retiming on a clip by selecting Normal in the Retiming menu, or press Shift plus N. I hope this speeds up your retiming sequences in the future. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell. There are new videos every Sunday.